All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have Golden State Warriors video. Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody are now in the G League. And oh my goodness, the Golden State Warriors, they're about to do it again. Some people are forgetting one year ago, Jordan Poole had a very similar start to the seasons Moody and Kaminga where you're not really involved that much in the Warriors rotation like you're getting maybe seven minutes when you do play Jordan Poole what happened to him they throw him in the G League what's he doing right now what he do after he came back from the G League 18.3 points is what Jordan Poole is averaging right now so welcome back to the channel guys if you enjoy it hit that like button hit that sub button try and post Warriors videos several times a week I post NBA videos every single day every single week so hit that like button hit that subscribe button i greatly appreciate it moses moody and jonathan kaminga to me the fact that both of them are on the golden state warriors it, it, it honestly gets me excited jonathan kaminga prior to entering the g league there were rumors that he was going to be the number one pick prior to entering the g league jonathan kaminga was a rumored number one pick coming out of high school Jonathan Kaminga, before last year's draft, he was almost a guaranteed top five pick. Almost guaranteed top five. Golden State Warriors, they scooped him up. We saw it in the summer league. We've seen glimpses, actually, of Jonathan Kaminga so far this season. He's only averaging about seven minutes when he's up on the on the Warriors. But we've seen him. I mean, he's got a crossover. Um, there was that one play in the summer league where i believe it was like the game winner he had a nice, nice little crossover finishes up with a layup i mean jonathan kaminga he's got the pieces he's just got to put it together and moses moody same thing with him maybe it's a little bit um not not higher risk but i think kaminga's ceiling is probably a little bit higher than moses moody just because jonathan kaminga can do so many different things once Jonathan Kaminga develops like a, a legitimate, consistent jump shot, I think it's pretty much over. Like it's pretty much over. There's no stopping him. But th it's this is all about reps. Like th this is literally just all about reps. Now Jordan Poole, he, he's out of Michigan, played a year, played a rookie year, came back second year for Golden State. They threw him in the G League where he could just really, like exactly with Kaminga and Moody, just have the ball. You're getting more and more reps. The G League, there's, it's like a, it's like a, man, I don't want to compare it to anything, but the G League is very legit. The competition is very legit. It's like playing basketball overseas. Like it's just legitimate competition. There's good defense. There's good offense. Now they're not necessarily all of them are necessarily NBA ready players, but they're NBA caliber players. And you see it, like we saw it with Jordan Poole last year. You even see it with my Houston Rockets, like Josh Christopher spent a handful of games in the G League, comes out a couple of, a couple of nights ago and absolutely hoops. It's great for just getting better in repetition, clearly. But most importantly, it's, it's so huge for confidence. It is so huge for confidence. And you look at a guy like Jonathan Kaminga, who put up ridiculous stats. He put up very, very impressive statistics in the G League last year. Now he's back in the G League. He's been there before. He can get all comfortable. He can not have any stress. Like the Golden State Warriors are 18-3 and three right now. 18-3. and three. My assumption, this is just a guess, my assumption is if Moses Moody and Jonathan Kamingo were, were getting 20 minutes a night, 25 minutes a night for this Warriors team, they wouldn't be in this situation. That's why they're down in the G League because you have guys on, especially what's really nice about the Warriors, and this is why I really think they got like a trick up their sleeve. They have all these guys on one-year contracts, Otto Porter Jr., specifically Otto Porter Jr., Andre Iguodala. And, and what are what are Andre Iguodala, Otto Porter Jr., Draymond Green? What are what are those three players special? What do they specialize in? Defense. They specialize in defense. So Jonathan Kaminga can be mentored by guys like Andre Iguodala, Draymond Green, Otto Porter Jr., Steph Curry, Clay Thompson. It's ridiculous. Jonathan Kaminga to me. Because he was drafted, not only because he was drafted by the Warriors, but especially, that's a better word, 
especially because he was drafted by the Golden State Warriors, I have no doubt that he will turn into at least a star at some point in his NBA career. At least a star. If there is one team where you know you're going to succeed, regardless, it's the Golden State Warriors. Look at what happened to Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins, it it appeared almost out of thin air. Literally out of thin air, because in Minnesota, he was not a defender. All of a sudden, Andrew Wiggins is a legitimate two-way star. Legitimate two-way star. What's he averaging this year? 18.6 points per game. Steve Kerr, once he got into Steve Kerr's system, you have, first off, in Steve Kerr's system, you have to play defense. Because if you're not playing defense, you're not playing. So Andrew Wiggins, it take, took him a little bit. Took him a little bit of time to kind of figure it out, figure out the Golden State Warriors system, how to play within it, where he fits within it. Look at him now, defensive star. He can lock up almost any player on the perimeter. I'd feel comfortable with Andrew Wiggins guarding pretty much most players on the perimeter. So you put in... You, you factor that, and then you, you just and like Jordan Poole averaging eighteen point three points right now is just extra sweetener. It's literally just extra sweetener because this was the exact blueprint that they had last year, where you're going down to the G League because you're like the number one option. So Moses Moody, Jonathan Kaminga, they're the number one and two options. Now like, James Wiseman, I don't think he's started, but I know he's down in the G League. They're like the big three. They're the big three. You're looking confidence, repetition. All the above, just staying in basketball shape, all the above. Because I guarantee you, I don't think Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody at any point in this season will have a legitimate role within the within the Warriors rotation, unless, God forbid, some injuries were to arise. I just think that this Warriors team, I mean, you, it, top to bottom, Juan Toscano, Anderson, Kevon Looney, Balitza, Gary Payton, Otto Porter, like, it's so deep. They don't even have Wiseman back. They don't even have Clay back. And if those two rookies, Moody and Kaminga, weren't playing much and those two guys were injured, I don't really think they're going to play much this year at all. But that is okay. That is okay because they're in the G League where you're playing consistently, you're getting consistent minutes, and you're building up your confidence, you're building up your skill set. And whenever Kaminga and Moody come back to the NBA, probably at some point within the season, Even if it's in limited minutes, limited reps in games, you'll see an impact. You will see the impact. You will see the improvement. I promise you. The G League is an amazing thing that I feel like only a handful of teams are really utilizing. Some teams don't even have it, which is ridiculous. But teams like the Golden State Warriors, Steve Kerr, that first off, that coaching staff, that just whole organization top to bottom is so great at what they do. But they're doing it again. The Golden State Wars are literally doing it again. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all you guys, and um, I'll see you guys later.